On Saturday night, the 29-year-old Biyombo tied his career high with 21 points and chipped in 13 rebounds in the Suns' win over the Pacers. In eight games with Phoenix, Biyombo is averaging 10.1 points and 6.9 rebounds on 70.2% shooting. Stephen Curry is in the midst of a shooting slump. The former MVP is shooting just 37.1% from the field and 32.7% from beyond the arc in January. Despite that, he still managed to hit the first walk-off game winner of his career in the Friday win over the Rockets. Morant has averaged 35.3 points and 8.7 assists in those three games, but his individual performances weren't enough to avoid road losses in Milwaukee and Dallas. Miami has vaulted itself back to the top of the Eastern Conference thanks to solid contributions throughout the roster. Guards Lonzo, Balney, and Alex Caruso Riz both are scheduled to have surgery this week, and each player has a timeline of six to eight weeks before his projected return. Joel Embiid continues to carry the 76ers, and now has scored 30 points in 12 straight road games after doing so again in San Antonio on Sunday night. Philadelphia is now 12 minus for since dropping to 5 0 all. The Jazz have lost 7 out of 9 to fall to fourth place in the Western Conference standings. Co stars Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobbert have played only two games together. Dallas 98.8 defensive rating this month ranks first by a margin of 5.7 points. Luka Doncic is starting to look like the first team all NBA player. Kyrie Irving has played in seven games for the Nets, with Brooklyn going for minus three and Irving averaging 23.4 points on 50% shooting, along with 4.9 rebounds and 5.1 assists. Denver won for the sixth time in nine games and now hits the road for a six-game trip, while Jokic is in the middle of making his case to repeat as MVP. Jokic might have had his showcase game last week with 49 points, 14 rebounds and 10 assists, including a sick cross-court pass out of a double team. The good news for the Hornets is that Miles Bridges just keeps on rolling. He's averaging 21.3 points and 8.2 rebounds a game so far this month including 38 points and a win Monday over the Knicks. The Raptors have to feel pretty good about sitting at 5-0-0 with a couple of weeks to go before the trade deadline. Bone Timps. Minnesota will be tested this week with three games against teams sitting around the top of the standings in the West, following their matchup with the Blazers on Tuesday. The good news for Lakers fans is Anthony Davis is expected to make his return from a sprained knuckle and his left knee as soon as Tuesday in Brooklyn. While Jason Tatum busted out of his shooting slump in a big way with his 51-point, 9-3-pointer explosion Sunday against the Wizards, what has been notable for three of the past four games? The Nets won in Washington with a helping hand from assistant coach David Vanderpool who interfered with a play from the sideline that went unnoticed in the fourth quarter. Without George and Cowie Leonard, the Clippers continued to grind. For the second time this month, the Clippers overcame a 24-point deficit and won, beating their old coach Doc Rivers and the Sixers, including none in the second half of a game in which both Kemba Walker and Derek Rose were out with injuries. The Hawks were reeling after losing 10 consecutive home games for the second time in franchise history. Atlanta responded with three straight wins. The Blazers have won four of their past five games all on the road and have won three of their past four with CJ McCollum back in the lineup. It was a quiet stretch for New Orleans, which played only Monday and Thursday last week. On Thursday against the Knicks, Brooklyn native Jose Alvarado on a two-way contract. Pacers guard Malcolm Brogdon has played just three games since December 16, and the team announced over the weekend he will be out for at least another 10 days. The Kings played only two games this past week and lost both by two to the lowly Pistons and by six to the defending champion Bucks. DeJount Murray had back-to-back -back triple doubles against Oklahoma City and Brooklyn, becoming just the second player in franchise history with consecutive triple doubles. Despite rookie Jalen Green's slump, Green has averaged only 10 points on 27.3% shooting during that stretch. Oklahoma City is 1-10 in January, sinking to within a half game of the bottom of the Western Conference standings. 
Pistons rookie Cade Cunningham put together one of the finest all-around games of his young career over the weekend against the Jazz. Bullwindle Carter Jr. dropping 19 points and 7 rebounds on his old team. Rookie Franz Wagner continues his nice stretch, 